She always used to keep me in the house, like, away from a whole bunch of the crazy stuff outside because I was raised in Park Heights. So. And, um, I mean, all I, all I really had was music to listen to. So I would listen to the radio, and it got to the point where I used to criticize other DJs that were mixing on the radio, like, oh, snap, why didn't he play this or why didn't he play that? And, um, so... I mean, <laughs> I never really put two and two together, like, oh, I should be a DJ so I could do this. I always knew I wanted to work with music. I used to sing when I was little. I used to write. Um, I used to try to rap, attempt to rap, but it never did really work. When I got older, and the first, the first party I went to was when I graduated from high school. That was when I was allowed to go out. I was on the cusp of 17 to 18. And when I finally went out, I met DJ Big Nasty, and I was just, you know, watching what he did and and just paying attention to how he really mixed, and um, it was it was just crazy how everything worked out because I met MVP Big D a little while before that, which made me go to that party. I got put on as a promoter, and I watched Nasty, and I mean, you know, like watching him mix, it was like, wow, I'm like, this is what I want to do. Being a female, I would say it, it, it is hard. It's really hard. It's, it's harder than people really think it is because it's like it gets in a curse, you know. Um, being a female, you know, it's in a male dominated industry. It's like um, when you go for others, especially if you're working in a game, if you go for others and asking for help or, you know, like. You know, like, you know, guidance or whatever. It's like, you know, they want something. The so, it, it is hard. It is hard. So, it's like, for the most part, if I, if I didn't have Nasty or, you know, like, L or Rod, Braxton, Red, J Rock, 695, you know, um, if I didn't have, if I didn't have them, I don't know, you know, what I did for real. So, don't, don't be gullible, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't feed into what people are trying to, you know, offer you so that they can get something in return because that'll be, you'll be, you be signing your death certificate for real because <laughs> it's not, it's really not a good look. So, I mean, the best thing to do is just, like, fight through the tears for real because I had to fight through the tears and just, just grind it out, just, you know, do your research and watch people. I mean, I remember one one time I talked to Swiss and Swiss was like, you know, it's like all these dudes out here, you know, it's, it's and we the only females out here. So if you need to talk to me about, you know, anything, then let me know. You know, like <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't realize how hard it would be until after she said that, and I would think back like, dang, like she was she was really right. Like, this is crazy. I'm working at the radio station, 95.5 WPGC in PG County, DC's number one radio station, number one. Um, I'm, I'm doing, I'm working on like a million mixtapes, um, a million. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to be scheduled to do one today. Um, you know, shooting photos, doing photo shoots for you know, upcoming clothing companies and um <laughs> I mean just 
just really like trying to put my get my face out there like trying to create a brand more so for you know like like actually seeing rules and me because i met him at a party he got he, he seen how i mix he introduced me to people like who would have thought i'd have been on 95.5 because he didn't know i was even going to be on 95.5 i want to thank my 95.5 fam um and of course my street jock fam you're good fellas mvp bb Big Nasty, they my two big brothers, I love them to death. Um, There's just so many people. DJ695, um, DJ Rez, Big L, who I'm coming for by the way. <laughs> just wanna let him know that. Um, Rob Braxton, Rod Lee, um, Black Star, Ra Ra, thank you for giving me the opportunity to tour with her. Um, so many people. There's just so many people I can't even think. DJ Sean, he helped me out a whole lot. Um, dang, dang man, I'm so sorry. I, I know how people feel when they be like, if I forgot you, I'm sorry. But no, nah, really, y'all, I really did forget. Like, it's just so many people. My friends, Jay Poet, upcoming rapper, um, you know, Kat, my girl, she's like my stylist, my best friend. Um, Kaylee in Atlanta, all my Atlanta peoples, like uh, DJ Dimples, it's crazy, it's just so many to name because um, it's, it's so many genuine people that do want to help, it's so many people that want to help and they have been helping me and they still continue to help me to this day. Um, so, I mean, with me grinding it out and weeding out the, the you know, the snakes and not being gullible, I really believe it. Oh, oh, baby, what's Shout it rock to the beat for your boy. Shout it, yeah, do yeah. it. Hey, it's yeah. no so in case.